Hello everyone. Let us come back to again the topic of cyber crime where finance is involved, money is involved. We have seen various type of cyber crimes. We have seen juice jacking. We have seen stalking. We have also seen the attacks where uh, you are being harassed for the data being uh, encrypted in your name. Yes, I'm talking the same about uh, where your entire information is encrypted and uh, you are being asked for separate set of money to decrypt that. Type in the chat box, what is that type of crime called? You also seen deep fakes, you also seen the cases in which phishing, wishing, smishing where either the SMS or voice or the general set of information is being used to check out your information and you are asked to basically yield yourself. We also seen various type of voice over IP attacks or some SMS type of attacks where uh, people pretend to be someone else and you get compromised. Now in this set of discussion, we'll talk about another set of uh, crimes which are debit card cloning or credit card cloning. What is a clone? Clone is basically the same image of that being replicated. Now understand for that matter, as the technology is advancing in your debit card or credit card, there is an information at the back of your chip that stores a lot about your chip itself, about the debit card itself. It stores about your CVV number, it stores about your PIN card as well. Of course, it is encrypted. Most of the debit cards are encrypted by AES encryption. Uh, we may not go towards it, but it's a very high level of sophisticated encryption that is being used. But consider that example that as and when the technology is advancing, the processing power of systems are also advancing and so and so is the power of using uh, the devices to decrypt the information that is stored in the back of your debit card as an encrypted format. So when somebody clones your debit card or credit card, they will have infinite amount of time practically to try out various combinations and generally in a heuristic manner or in a deterministic manner, whatever be the possibilities, your information can get compromised. Now once the debit card and credit card, everything is compromised, they will know your CVV, they will know your uh, password as well, what you have set up or the pin that you are there and then information is already there, the number as well. So they can always use it for uh, impersonating you as you. They can create another separate copy of it, can be used anywhere and everywhere in your name. Specifically, the example comes in handy when your SIM card is also cloned. There was a very famous uh, case of SIM card cloning. And how does it happen and the other details, I will not talk about that, but very easily your Aadhaar card you have submitted in your name, somebody can issue the issue the mobile number and even if your mobile number is not working at three to five days point of time, you may consider that uh, it may be just another possibility of some network failure. No, be careful that your mobile is not working, it may be possible that somebody has replicated that and in combination with your debit card number, they will get the SMSs and other things uh, where they can be used to uh, get out the money in your bank account. So see for that matter, when you are using debit card cloning, it can also be in combination with your SIM cards cloning and that can go heavily against you and you can be uh, penalized for it very strictly for your money. Thank you so much.